Hey guys, what's going on? Gaming Chris TV here. Hope you guys had an exciting and fantastic day today. Because today, right out of nowhere, we get some footage from the Halo Infinite campaign. Now, this is the moment I've been waiting for. I'm pretty sure this is the moment you've been waiting for as well. I've been not dying to see a campaign, but I'm kind of I'm kind of worrying about campaign just a little bit because you know, they said they're in shutdown mode and and I was and I had two sides of me saying, Okay, I'm kind of right back campaign, but I'm excited. And I was kind of like, Well, I don't mind seeing campaign videos. Like if we don't get any, it's fine. But, you know, I kind of do want to see it, so this morning around nine PM Eastern Standard Time of course, we get this the Hail Infinite campaign overview. And man, I did see it, but I want you guys to see my reaction to this video right here. I'm, I'm so hyped for this, man. I'm, I can't believe this is this is the day. This is the day right here. So, oh my goodness, this this is just awesome. And of course, we're going to break it down, and as well as to, um, to see what the um, Inside Infinite or Halo Infinite news we have. So. Without further delaying this video, guys, but let's just go right into this. Here we are. Let's go. Since the beginning, okay. Halo was about Master Chief and Cortana. Yo, well, that was like a Cortana-like model. But that is now a distant memory. Halo see you like Cortana. Chief still looks good. Fighting for survival. The banished have risen. Oh, defeated. We're buffering a little bit. And taken control. I remember that from Halo. 2019 trailer. We need a savior. We need hope. We need Spartan one one seven. Yeah, buddy. Oh, we're. Oh man. We have a new mission, soldier. What is he? What's down there? A weapon. A weapon. How many guns do you need? <laughs> what guns do we need? All of it. That looks nice. Yo, that sunset. I like it. Desert theme? Turkey vultures? Mmm. Let's go. Oh, that looks nice. I like that shot the biggest too. Campaign to date, Halo Infinite invites players to become Master Chief. And discover true Spartan freedom in the most wide open and adventure filled Yo. experience yet. But I like the sound of the Warthog. His first mission is to retrieve a new AI. Yo, I love that beam emitter. It's been six months. Where have you been? Yeah, where have you been, Chief? I remember seeing this. Cortana still looks nice. That's the kind of like model. I don't know why. What did she do that was so wrong? Everything. I'm kidding. Oh, I like that. Well, I'm kind of interested. I have a question on that. Huh? Ah, I like how he just drops it. And you see the wires releasing the thing too. Nope. Yo. Draco snipers are back, guys. Draco snipers are back. Indeed. We will sell this. Yo. Oh man, that music. Okay, I like how he's charging. Yo, hunters are back! Hunters, they're back! Okay. 
Halo Saga, we got a headshot. Chief has been a hero, ready to fight and win against impossible odds. Yo! Chief, is that you? You're safe now. Yo, the Marines are back. Wait, wait, Chief, what are you doing? Chief, no. What are you doing? Hey! But what if it's a friend? It isn't. It's okay, the weapon. They're... Chief will handle it. Yo, with fusion coil. Players now have I, I love attack map. To take down the banished any way they choose. Yes, we'll break this down too. Banished facility up ahead, Chief. Some kind of salvage operation. I like how this highlights. Shut it down. Permanently. <laughs> Shut it down. Permanently. <laughs> okay, I love that I can store fusion coil now. What do we have here? There we go. Oh, hello? We got a thruster. And he just went invisible. Got the cloak. Oh, yep, that's a thruster for sure. Do you see that? Could be useful if you like that kind of thing. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Chief got a humor. Chief got humor, guys. Oh, I like it. <laughs> he got humor. That sunset looks gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Okay, he beats Kieran. Take down the banished. Piece <laughs> by piece. This won't be an easy fight. Master Chief will take on returning the shock rifle. I'm still kind of mixed on it. New okay. Agile skimmers. Skimmers. A sadistic Spartan killer. Skimmers. Jaga Erdomni. Say good bye. Look out, Chief. He looks angry. And something even more threatening. The Yo, what? Who? I am the harbinger of the truth. Okay, the harbinger. Is this what the war chief Eshram was talking about? Yo. Is it? Oh, okay. Okay then, no. Play it day one with Game Pass. Yep, definitely. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, so let's break it down. So, well, actually, first let me get my first impressions on it. Music, absolutely gorgeous. And yo, we get campaign, guys. We get campaign foot so let's break it down and then we're gonna afterwards we're gonna head to um halo waypoint and see if there's any more details on it but yo i kind of like it so let's break it down so as we see from trying to get a good shot so right here this is a good angle right here This, I kind of like they're paying homage to the Halo um, Combat and Evolved Cortana. I really, really do like that. It has a nice purple look to it. I really do like it. I probably have a picture around here. But yeah, just for comparison. But yeah, that is Cortana. Halo CE Cortana like model in Infinite. Really, really good. Okay. Um, let's see. I didn't mean to get that shot of him. This is a beautiful, uh, this is a beautiful look of Chief right here. 
Oh my goodness, the armor. In fact, you can see almost every bit of detail in it. Like the nice green is wearing off. You see like the little marks. I like it. I like it. And I like how Chief is holding emotion to him too. Like, this is my Cortana that I worked with since the beginning. And now she's not there. I kind of like the sense of emotion to it. How they're both tied into it. Um... Also, I recognize this too as well. This when Chief was afloat in space when um, the pilot was like this with the glass, and now you can see how he has the um, the grapple shot to him too. I really like that detail as well. Another look from Discover Hope. And let's see. This is a beautiful, gorgeous look of um, Zeta Halo right here. In case you guys don't know, this is taking place on Zeta Halo. And yeah, this is gorgeous look. The look, the outpost look right there. The whole wilderness vibes to it. I like it. And the smoke too. Another, oh my goodness. Yo, 3 for 3, you're killing it. I do, I like, I like the texture. I like the whole texture of like, this is looking alive. I like it. I love it. And, do you guys see that sunset look to this whole area right here? That right there is a gorgeous sunset graph, um, Graphics, graphics you got. I'm not sure if I um, said that right, but that's a nice graphic look of the sunset of Zeta Halo right there. Oh my goodness. It, this is beautiful. 3 for 3. Whoever, whoever designed this needs to get a raise. You, you get it from me. You get it from me. You get it from me. That's my recommendation right there. Um, nope. Right here. Did I get it right? Yes, right here. Yo. Another look of it. I like this dawn look to it. And you see the nice little, um, vultures I see right there. That looks beautiful. And over here, um, let's see I get it. The right frame. I'm gonna play this. Yo. I like the Forerunner doors they brought back. The Forerunner doors. It looks amazing. I'm sorry. I not the tender detail. And here's like a nice look before I go inside of how everything is all industrial like. Like every like that banished red hue to it, the whole industrial look, and then we have some grunts, get from the area, and again this area this looks awesome. It looks awesome. Then we get another shot here. I like that sweeping look to it. Like it's like, here's one look here, woof. There you go. I like it. I like it. Um. Let me see if I can get this perfect frame for you guys. Okay, so. It's going to be a tricky one. As you guys can see. No. No. It's that good frame right there. What if I slow down the video? Is this slow?
Okay. Right. Yeah, this is slow. Actually, let me make it a bit slower. We're doing this. We're doing this live. So I'm going to see if I can have it slower. So I can talk to it as it's going. And pause it at certain times. There you go. This looks like it's emitting off the grapple shuck. And this is probably some equipment you can get. But I like the way how... And also you can shock people too, which is kind of good. Look how the way the grunt is just staring. So yeah, it is emitting it. It's not like it's bouncing off of it. Okay. Let me put it back to normal. Alright. It is confirmed, guys. The we put hair on the brutes. So yeah, they're not. They put hair on the brutes, guys. So Craig, he's get, Craig is old enough for to have a beard. Okay, the banshee looks nice. I do love. I do like the shields of the um, jackals right there. And I like how this and the wreckage too. I'm not sure if this is from the wreckage of where the other um, spaceship was in there from the first Halo um, thing. I, I, I want to learn about it. like how this crash happened. Um, when, when did it take place? Who was involved in it? Please don't tell me Captain Lasky was involved in this crash. I, I kind of want to see him back. It's kind of like the quote unquote father. To um, Master Chief. Actually, I'm gonna put on the light. It looks a kind of bit dark. Um, hopefully it's not too bad. Actually, I think it should be fine. Well, let me let's take a quick check. Yeah, we're fine. The lighting is just adequate enough. So camera's focusing, okay. I do love the scenery here of the wreckage. And that little red banished texture to it. I love it. I love the shot the sunset right here and love the shot of the showing us the worth hog and such. Oh, uh, this might get a perfect frame for you guys. Might have to slow it down again. 0.25. Yep. Alright. Yeah, I like... I like Chief Driving. I like the way Chief is driving the Warthog. You can see the um, speedometer, the power button, the power to turn on the um, thing. It looks like some kind of dial pad of some sorts. Maybe you can call in certain people. Um, I'll probably have to zoom in. I think that's the um, the stats on the Warthog, like the, the tires and the engine. Kind of um, heads up display on the screen. Kind of looks nice. I wonder if this is gonna be used, like this screen right here. That would be nice. You know what I'm saying? That would be really nice. You could see the pilot talking to him, like, hey Chief, I believe Chief, on your left, look well something like that. I'm not sure, but that looks kinda of cool. I like it. I like it. I like it. I I like the layout of the Warthog. I'm trying to get every detail for you guys, so don't worry about it. Again, this beautiful look of the sun just glaring on the halo. Let me put the speed back to normal. Okay. 
looks very nice. Oh, I believe I saw some popping. Let me see. No, but don't want quality. I want playback speed. It's 2.25. Oh, yeah, there was some popping right there. There is. I'm trying to zoom in just a little bit. But watch carefully again. How it's like that kind of grew right there. And. Yeah. Ooh, that's not good. Like, again, just in case you guys are like, I missed it. Let's watch carefully. Like, I see it's a little bit, this area right here. Yeah, that. No. That's the one big takeaway from this overview. How that was just, like, went from a blurry gray and this one, like, like, to, um, kind of the same texture. I'll play it again just one more time for you guys. Let's watch carefully. This texture right here where my mouse is. It's going to go from... Nice blurry and it's going to pop. Yeah. That's... Ugh. I hope this has happened in the game. So, yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. It's minor, I know, but still, it's a game I'm going to be playing, so I'm not a fan of it. I hope I don't see it, but that's just me. Let's put back the speed to normal. And it's buffering. I do love how the beam emitter. I do love the beam emitter. I like how she was like one. This one glowing orb. And then it's like. And boom. Voila. I'm here. I like it. This is from the, um, opening night live, I believe, or was it from the Xbox Best Status Showcase? I'm gonna, I think it was from the Xbox Best Sesta Showcase. I'm, I am 100% sure this is from the Bethesda. Um, showcase. I'm pretty sure on that. Do love that somber looking chief just slowly putting the sh um, marine away. And then right here. Again, we get another look at um, Cortana. The C model like of Cortana. And the structure right here. I'm curious what this is. If you guys know what it is, or it's resembling of. Let me know in the comment section below. But I am curious to know what this is. And there's the. Um, hold on a second guys. My stomach is grumbling. So I'm trying to. Temporarily. Make myself. Less hungry. Ugh. Gotta juice up a little bit. <sighs> okay. 
back in business. So, this is just a, um, another look at the, um, another look at the weapon. And it looks like Chief is holding her, I'm trying to, my water bottle in my way. Doesn't look like he's holding her, he is holding her in the chip that, um, most of these come in. I mean, not these, um, most AIs come in. It looks like it's just some hologram. And I like how... She is question chief like I'm I don't know what Katana has done that was wrong. Like I'm like I'm glad she's interested to knowing like you know, you wanna feed her in like Katana did A. She wasn't supposed to do B, but she chose A instead. She threatened the whole galaxy of A and now we're now we're retaliating for B. You know. It's basically filling in the puzzles for her, like She's wondering what we do with this puzzle piece is we're kind of like this piece fits here. I like the sense of mystery she wants to know. Yeah, that's what the whole scene is about. Oh, we'll get there in a second. I like that shot too. And okay. I have a question about this. Now, with these outposts, I have two questions. Number one, how frequent or often these outposts are? Are these outposts... If these show up, like... Like, if you see most of these cluster in the map, with these common vehicle areas and well as common the weapon area, I'm one... Uh, this is too frequent where it's like, okay, I go to one chunk of the map, it's there. Go to another chunk of the map, it's there. It's going to make the game way too easy. And for this map, you want to take your time. Explore explore the new Halo, you know. You just got your sky here. Why in a rush? I'm kind... I'm wondering how much do... How much of these little outposts... Are we gonna see if it's if it's too much of these? It's gonna kill the whole um, wandering around this Halo vibe, other than just rushing it. Cause you're gonna complete the game too easy. I want this game to be like a nice game. You're gonna have this game for a whole ten years, so you wanna kind of take your time to learn it out, type of thing. So I'm. Wondering how much of this will we get to see. I don't like how you get to just change how much, what vehicle you want. And this is funny too. Take a look. Pirate's like, okay, here you go, Chief. Have fun. He just drops it, carefree. Like, I'll play it in slow for you guys. Because that's just hilarious. Alright, watch. I'm gonna play it. Let's watch. This is a select. Actually, let me speed up to this. Let's look. Okay, Chief. I got your wasp. And. Okay, I did my job. I'm releasing you, your airplane. Time to get out of safety's way. He just drops it. Now, I like how I see the effects of it, too. But, yeah. Sheesh. Jeez, it, he just disrespected him like that. Like, gosh. I did my job. I'm leaving out of here. Like, I get it. But. <laughs> it's just hilarious. Alright. Then he gets in. All right, let's see if we can see any textures popping in. I don't think I've seen any there. All right, I like how it just rocket launchers. Sniper jackals are back. 
If you like them or you hate them, Sniper Jackals are back. And I'm scared about Snark. And I wonder what the difficulty the Sniper Jackals are. And they're holding a new weapon too. I think it's the Stalker Rifle, but Knockout emits a laser too. But yeah, these are Halo 2 Sniper Jackals. Boy, I am going to be in fury. I'm going to be furious about it. But if these are like Halo 3 Sniper Jackals where they're kind of chill. I'm going to give you like a warning look cam there. Then you have my thumbs up. And this is another look from... The Discover Hope trailer where... He's watching... All of the Infinity going at war with the enemy. And let's watch this. Goodbye. Deceased. Like, goodness gracious. It's like... It's like, yay, we're fighting. It's like, yay, we're fighting... All of your men. So for Thanos snap, they're gone. That is just mad scary. Alright. I love this hologram look of Eshram right here. Yeah, it's gonna keep going. I like it. I like how their hawk is refreshing itself. Then it says, We'll meet in the battlefield. Indeed. We will. And Yo. I love this look of the um, banished um Banshee right here. It just looks It just looks very industrial. Oh man, that was a good shot right there. Okay. It looks like he's wearing a mask of some sorts. And it's like I just tosses this piece of metal out of madness. And that nice shot of Chief like Oh hello there. And then boom. And you're there. You see him running towards you, boom 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 boom, and just Smacks him. Hunters are back, baby. Hunters are back. And oh boy. And Chief is holding a bulldog. And it looks like they have weak spots on their knees. Like you see right here too. So it's not just the exposed part of their neck, but on the knees as well. And here we are. Chief is sniping one of the um, guys. I do love the armor of the Banished as well. That nice um, brass knuckle-like shoulder right there. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, this is a good shot right here. He's like, who's shooting me? Who's shooting me? And I like, he has hair on him. And what kind of weapon he has, too? Yeah, just look at it. Let's look at the, um... Armor plating, too. Looks really, really nice. And boom. And the feet, too. And that's some kind of coil right there. And this is the best part of the trailer right here. And most funny part, too. The Marines are back! Um, let me see if I get a good shot. The Marines are back, guys. And they're not in their, like, in their camel-like. They're not in their camel-like, um, appearance. In usual, in all the Halo games. This time, they're kind of like their casual shirt and pants look. I like it. I like it. And she just yeets a fusion coil at one of the guys. Not the Marines. Like how this piling it, and this is where it just everything is just goes wrong. And yep, I saved you. You're gonna die. Really, Chief? 
Got to play him like that. And then we have, looks like, another member of the Banished. And then the weapon's like, I think he's a friendly. And Chief is like, it ain't, I know it's not. Then he has like some jetpack. And we have bosses too, like mini bosses. I like it. Hello, Tremonius. Nice to see you. Wait a minute. I'm not sure if you guys could see, but the meme could be back. And I don't want it to be back. Armor lock is back. And you guys know about that? Armor lock is when there was, it was an equipment in Halo Reach where someone were to sh um, try to run over you and you apply that. It acts as an overshield, but you're just pounding the ground with a glow on you. And then you and then you release it. It's kind of like a giant bear, an, a shield barrier of some sorts. Please don't tell me he has armor lock. I don't want armor lock, please. Because he's in that stance. I do love the armor lock too. Oh, okay. Another thing I have to be critical on. I don't like how he has his shields. Where it has like a little white bar to him. It's like little white lines on it. I hope that's something you could toggle off or on. So that's another thing I kind of don't want to see in the game. We did encounter texture popping. And we did in and we countered this. We're just like a white barrier to indicate that his shields are low. I don't want that to happen. I know they're trying to show you like hey your shields are low. But hope it's some toggle you could turn off or on. And you guys can see too, Chief is holding a mangler as well. It also tells you that Chief is also ha that Chief also has a um, fusion coil too. Yeet. And initializing tech map. Ah, Halo's open world, guys. I like it. And this area is ransom keep as well. And I like how it just highlights the the um I forgot what it was, but those towers um or um kind of like a yellowish orange to it to where it take down. And he has the rock line and boom. The chopper Yes, I love the chopper. I kind of like the way Chief is holding on to it like this, like a motorcycle. But oh my goodness, Chopper looks nice. Oh. Let me... I have to slow that down so I could tell if it's a normal lock or not. Let's see. Oh. I have a bad thing. This is armor lock. Because we just missed him, but I have a feeling this is armor lock and not armor lock. I'm kind of worried about that. I'm going to put this back to normal. Okay. I do love this mini scene right here where he's working the thing you get to know the fusion coil at the tower and when oh hello he has a rocket launcher too and I kind of like the way no we'll get to there he prize the drop wall I love that pose right there that kind of tactical pose on him but he's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to war with you, buddy. And how 
A thing goes. Okay, this is interesting right here. Do you get to customize the um customize your um chief as well? I like that. Looks like you have a grapple shot. You can customize your shield core. Um, the threat sensor. The drop wall or the indoor the thruster. I kind of like that. I I like that. Oh yeah, it's Spartan Quartz as well. I wonder how do you get Spartan Quartz? Do you just do you complete that mission to get Spartan Quartz? Oh yeah, I have questions on Spartan Quartz. What do you have to do to get the Spartan Core? How many Spartan Cores do you get? If you complete a mission or a side mission? And three, how many Spartan Cores do you get? Well, it's kind of like the second question, but how do you get Spartan Core? I'm going to cough, so <coughs> excuse me, guys. All right. First question. How do you get Spartan Cores? Number two. Number two. If it, if it, uh, if you get Spartan Core, do you get it from either A, when you complete a mission, or B, do you get Spartan... Yeah, do you complete it when you're getting a mission? If yes, how many do you get? Oh, wait a minute. Hold, oh, never mind. That tells you how many do you need. So... If, let's say you complete one mission, which is just to ambush the area. Do you get that? Like, for example, if it, if it, if that, if question two is answered, like, okay, you get spark, you get spark, of course, you complete a mission. Do you get... I don't know, like five Spartan cores? Does it depend on difficulty? Like if it depends on difficulty as well, maybe you get three Spartan cores on easy. Um, five on normal. Seven, seven on um, heroic, and maybe ten on legendary. Is it is Spartan cores a per difficulty basis? Or is it on, or do you just get the same for exact difficulty? That is my question right there. So I'm worrying about that too. It looks like it's, uh, and it's using escape velocity too, which adds a personal cloak effect to thruster. And it'll last, and the um, cloak will last for four seconds after activation. Yep, he's gonna use it. And he's gonna, yep, he applies it. And kinda like that BIOS type of thing too, where it's like, where it's like telling you upgrading, thruster, new core binaries found, and then yes, 0.5 slash forward install. I like it, I like that. There it goes, it's looking. He uses a thruster there. He uses a thruster there. Okay, Chief is going for the head. That's a nice look at the scorpion. This looks a nice shot of it. Now I do like how the um, weapon is just like, oh, we could use this if you like it. And Chief is like, and then after he shoots him, is like, oh, I like it. <laughs> he has a sense of humor. And then, this is a good shot right here. Chief is like, I found you. You're terminated. This sun shot, this sun setting shot. This looks so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. You guys could have done any better. I love it. I love it. Boss books. I mean, not the boss. The, um, 
Banshee looks so nice. He's got the skewer. Kebabs that Banshee and hooks onto that one. Huh. <laughs> Chase this this back eats him like Yeah, what do you think you're doing? A shock rifle now. If you guys haven't seen my recent Halo Infinite tech previews. Oh, I'm a bit dark here. Do you know what? I'm gonna turn on the light. Um, I'm gonna meet myself real quick. So if you guess my lips move, it's because I'm talking to my assistant. So let me just meet myself. Let me turn this off. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're back in business. Okay. So, turned on my Elgato, so it's more light than we need there. But, okay. About the shock rifle. Again, the shock rifle is kind of like an in place weapon of. Because the EMP of it. Like, if you guys see my tech preview, I highly recommend you guys see that. Because with the shock rifle, you get the EMP. It does cool, has a chain effect reaction to it when you have during. When you have different, um. Um, players in it. And of course, it does have that bounce off to it with weapons and of course, parts of the map. However. Um, it has EMP, which the plasma rifle doesn't. Add the add the EMP to the plasma pistol, please. The, this cap is EMP too, but I want the plasma pistol to have it. It's part of Halo. Riot move a staple of it when, you know, it's been there for years. For, for like, boy years. Before even this. Not just my gripe about the um, shock rifle, but... Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the shock rifle. But anyway... Here's another shot of it from here. Okay, my audio's on, so I'm not talking to myself. All right, here we go. It's firing it. I get it. I love the armor of it. And Jen Taylor, aka Cortana, is talks about these guys right here. The agile skimmers. They're holding the shock rifle, obviously, but I can't wait to know about what these characters' origins from, and why are they here. And it also looks like one of them's holding what looks like to be a monitor of some sorts. Can we learn about that too? There we go. I like how it shoots him. And this, oh my goodness. This right here blew my socks off. Just look at this. I'm going to play in a normal speed and we're going to slow it down. Look at this right here. Oh my goodness. The way he's like, huh, huh. You're mine now. I like that. I like that. I'm like I said, I'm gonna play it back in slow speed. Right here. Let's look at this right here. Let's look at this. He just appears out of thin air. 
And he's like, haha. You're mine now. And look at this. Oh my goodness. I'm blown. I'm blown. This is the best campaign overview I've seen slash trailer. I love it. I love it. Um, playback speeds go to normal. I love it. And who is she? Now she did say she's the um. I forgot what she said. Um. They're banished in the something. I'm trying to remember from the Discover Hope trailer. I'm just going to play it from here. Just listen to this, too. Look out, Chief. He looks angry. And something even more threatening. The Forerunner's lies are at an end. I am the Harbinger. The Harbinger. That's what she is right there. I think I get a good frame one shot of her. Hello there, Chief. That's a beautiful shot of you. Right here. This is a good shot right here. Chief does ducks. The Harbinger. Can't wait to learn about her, her origins, and and why she's a villain. But now it's also in the Scarborough trailer too, where it seems like. The Banished and the Arbiter share the same, share the same goal. We fight to, I'm, I'm playing back, we fight together to remember the world of Atriox. I love that. I love that trailer too. So, we now know who the Harbinger is. I guess that's her. Looks, that's a nice, menacing look to her as well. So, she eats his ducks. And boop, you just got bopped. Oof. She says you're not the future. And here's a shot of the sheep just jumping here. That's another, sh that's a good shot right there too. A sheep just like gliding. And it's gonna land in the pelican. I got just grab it and I'm like, come on, come on, close the door. And then... I love this shot right here, where it's just looking in the air, in the... And you see the background just blurry. I love that foreground, background look. And then the pelican door closes. And this is funny right here. The pilot... Turns to Chief and is like, Is everyone trying to kill you? And Chief says nothing. And then the, and then the weapon, and just, the weapon replies, I think so. Like, I love everyone's reaction. That's just funny. I'll play it back with the sound. I love I love these cutscenes, bro. And here we have. Oh, that me. Here we go. Hail infant, December eighth. Now, of course, God's gonna play it on console, but also look to th look at this. It says we could play this on. I'm not sure if this is real. Um, this is real, but I'm not sure. If it's confirmed or not. I need a clarification. 3 for 3. Tell me for watching this video. Are you telling me. We get to play Halo Infinite. From the console. 
And let's say pause and play this on our phones? If that's the case, you have my seal of approval. You have my seal of approval. But yeah, I'm wondering if we could play this from console to PC and now on our phone with Halo Infinite, you get two thumbs up from me. Then, yep, after that. And then this. This is. Now, I'm not sure if this is live action, but. And again. Um, Muni did say this from Twitter that this isn't a, an, an in-engine look of Eshram, so, but I kind of do like it, it looks dark. And, there we go, so, and actually guys, I am on the Halo Waypoint website, while I was doing the YouTube video, and now we're going to take a look at this very, very brief summary. Halo has always been about hero heroism, hope, and the Master Chief, Spartan 117. In Halo Infinite, Chief is going head to head with the toughest foes he's, he's ever faced in the most expansive, awe inspiring Halo Halo's story ever told. I can break my words together. Today, we're thrilled to give you a fresh look at just some of the action they will dive into when Halo Infinite launches on December 8th, 2021. And that's it. So, what are you guys' thoughts on the um, campaign overview? Did you guys like it? Um, were there some stuff that you guys didn't like? Or maybe weren't convinced? Or you maybe want more? Again, there's two things that I'm kind of... Two things that I cut that kind of... You know, did it ruin it for me, but two things I'd like to see patched up just a little bit there. One was the texture popping, and two was the fact that you could see the shields um, trying to recharge as you're fighting the mini boss of some sorts. I like to see those two things patched up a little bit there. Well, the second one kind of an option, but the first one definitely. Texture popping is not good, especially on the next gen console. But that's just my two things. Again, let me know what you guys think about the Camp Moon review. But I'm gonna end it right here, guys. Thank you guys for watching me react and do a breakdown of the Halo Infinite campaign review. Make sure you guys subscribe to the bell for more videos like this. As well, leave a like, comment, share, and follow my social media fit to my channel. And before I leave, guys, there will be time code description below so you guys can go to wherever you guys want most. They will be split into two different chapters, so that'll be a little thing in case you guys want to see the um, breakdown or you guys want to see my reaction first. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, and as always, stay safe.